Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brett Park, I'm the creator of Thumb Paint, and in today's video, y'all, we are going to be going over my art portfolio. Um, this is a fail video, pretty much, because I applied to three colleges with this portfolio, and I got rejected from all of them. Um, and so today, we're going to be roasting my high school art portfolio that I submitted last fall. Um, very embarrassing. So obviously I wasn't expecting to get into any of these schools. RISD is literally like the top art university in America. Brown is obviously an Ivy League and UChicago is literally in the top 10 or 5 schools in America. So my chances of getting into any of these universities were already slim. And I thought that a portfolio would help me get in hopefully, but it didn't. So that's fun. So today we're just going to be reviewing my RISD portfolio because that was the one with the most pieces. I submitted 15 pieces not including my RISD assignment. So the first piece I have was titled Mirror Mirror. This was acrylic on canvas and you can see it's like very messy. There's not much detail anyways except like the actual face itself and that was done intentionally. Um, I really wanted to make it kind of like a grungy aesthetic. You can definitely see that in like the muddled like complementary colors where the green and reds meet. Um, I think this was one of my stronger pieces, and it's not even that great, honestly. So I put it first. It actually, like, I just, like, literally sweat when I look at this portfolio because it's, like, so cringy to me. Because I feel like it's just not good. Anyways, we'll continue. <laughs> so this next one was about anxiety. I really wanted to portray that through this art piece. So this was my attempt at a self-portrait. Pretty bad. Um, but I like the colors. I tried to experiment with colors in skin and I don't think it's very good because I think you I lose a ton of detail in the hands. I think the concept was there. I still like this concept. As you can see like one hand is trying to lift up the face and every life experience just kind of amplifies in my head so I just had a ton of random hands punching out of my, my mind like this. Everywhere and then even though it's only one hand in reality. I don't know. This one I was actually really happy with. It's one of my favorite pieces to date. I really love this character and my art teacher loved this piece. It's of this little bear. I love this bear. It's literally Paul Revere as a bear. I love that. Yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just another acrylic on canvas piece. This is kind of a more controversial piece, so I'm sorry if you are a Trump supporter. I'm not, clearly. So when I made this piece, it was more in response to President Trump's um, pretty inhumane immigration policies for migrants at the border, especially with this whole build the wall thing. And I just didn't really know how to voice my opinion and didn't really know what my role as an artist would be in this. So I decided to create this piece and that's it. So those are my acrylic pieces. I tried to put them all in the front because I thought it would be nice for the people viewing it to look at all my acrylic pieces at the same time, but Maybe I should have scattered them around. Maybe they should have been better. Um, this was an observational study in my class. As you can see, there's a little crease line and it's because one of my um, peers in class folded it on accident when they put their, their drawing board on top of it, but it's fine. You could tell that this is my first charcoal um, drawing. You can tell in the drapery of the sheets below. You can't even tell those are sheets. They're sheets and I did not shade them properly. The cracks in the bone were really nice, but other than that, I don't think this is a very good drawing. But I try to put it in there because they like seeing different mediums from what I've seen in portfolio videos. This one was a scratch board. It's called Crying Faucet. I am, again, experimenting with different mediums here. I just kind of took a photo of myself crying in the bathtub and I did a scratch board of it. I thought it was really nice because you could see the parallel with the faucet dripping like it's crying and then me crying. So that was that. Boy, I actually really like this piece. I didn't at first because I thought that the proportions of the bathtub were actually kind of weird because the angle I don't think works here. I think it should be more shifted to the left. But I think that the faucet itself is pretty nice and I like how I didn't choose to outline everything in scratch board because, because you're trying to stay away from outlines usually. It just, you just don't. You just don't. You let it breathe a bit, you know? This was a sculpture I did for my art class. It, instead of people shooting apples off of their heads, it's apples shooting heads off of another apple. So I thought that was funny. Um, 
Maybe the people reviewing the portfolio thought it was a dumb pun. Maybe the sculpture itself wasn't that great. Moving on. Oh my god. I have not seen these in a while. These are the worst figure studies I've ever seen. They're so stiff. The proportions are all off. I can't look at this. I'm so sorry. If you're, if you're gonna do a figure study, which everyone should put figure studies in their portfolio, don't do what I did. This is my sketchbook pages. I wanted to show them that I could draw from observation, so I had a bunch of observational drawings in my sketchbook along with fun portraits of people who I followed on Instagram and stuff like that. And I just threw them in there because I thought it was nice to have a couple sketchbook pages, but it really doesn't show anything other than I can't shade with watercolor pens and that my color palette choices are questionable. I think as you guys can see now with like these updated sketchbook photos that I definitely improved a lot in that area. So this is a portrait of my father. He always watches television so I decided to paint a portrait of him in watercolor. The portions are all off, there's no depth to his face, and the eyes are crooked. So that's probably why they didn't like this piece. And also the background is very, um, bad. Very bad background. There should have been darker values in his shirt, and there could have been a lot more life in his face, I suppose, by bringing out some more pinkish, warmer tones because it's very cool colors, and I don't really like that. This is another observational watercolor. You can see again that I tried to place my mediums close together in the portfolio piece. I'm not sure if order matters at all, but I think order can maybe matter subconsciously to them. I'm not sure. I actually was pretty proud of this piece because it was the first kind of like purely observational watercolor studies I've done. As you can tell, it did not have much um, value to the colors. They were very watered down for sure, and it's not very pigmented. It's not very pigmented. It's very easy to pick apart and rip to shreds my art portfolio because I already know looking back that I was rejected from every college that it was applied to. So obviously I'm looking at this through a really poor lens, but I think that it's good to kind of roast my own art um, because that's how I improve. So sorry if this video gets kind of negative. I just don't like it. This one was an illustration done on Procreate. It was one of the comics I do for Thumb Paint. I think I've seen a couple of it. As for a portfolio piece, I think that they would have appreciate this probably. There's a lot of imperfections in it and it shouldn't be that many imperfections, especially if it's a digital art piece because you can literally zoom in and start like erasing and doing that stuff. So in terms of attention to detail, I don't think I hit the mark on this at all, but I do like the concept and I hope they were able to understand like my vision with this. The next piece I love actually, this literally took 15 minutes. I love the color scheme of it. You guys can probably tell that I love playing around with complementary colors, especially green and reds. I think me making this in only 15 minutes with just a palette knife was essential for me capturing kind of my mood. This is a sad piece and I was sad when I made it. A common theme you are seeing um, throughout. This wasn't my strongest piece, obviously, but I just personally enjoy it a lot and so I put it in there. This doesn't look good. No, I take that back. I'm actually really proud of this piece, and I know it's not perfect, nothing will be. I really try hard to balance around all the colors and hues and whatnot. I think that the shading on the ceiling could definitely be better, but I think I like the composition. I just think that the proportions of the man is off and it kind of throws the whole piece off a bit. Um, but I was happy with it. I was really happy with it when I finished it, and I was really proud of this piece. I actually misspelled sauce. For a hot sec and so my friend made me redo it because obviously I wanted sauce to be spelled incorrectly. So thank you um, Jason and Sachi for that. This piece, I... I don't know, I think this there's a strong concept here with this piece. I don't think the composition is great at all, but I think that it was nice to put it in as an illustration piece. One of the things my therapist told me was that she wanted to kind of log, she wanted me to be more conscious of my mood changes throughout the day. So I just kind of took a bunch of selfies of different moods I was feeling throughout the day and I put it all together in a little collage and made this piece and obviously I painted it with um, acrylic paint on paper. So that was it for my portfolio section, but there are two more pieces that I wanted to show you guys of the actual RISD art assignment. For the first piece, I did a stamp. This stamp was terrible, let's be honest. Like This was a terrible stamp, it did not work, but I thought that if I did pull it off, it would be a nice addition to the portfolio. 
However, I didn't pull it off because I literally did this the day it was due for RISD and I completed it in five hours. This piece actually I'm really proud of. This photo that I self-timered and modeled for, so fun. It was about how humans in general are just kind of ruining the earth, especially with climate change, global warming, all those buzzwords that we all kind of have heard so many times. Like instead of a paper mache, I used cloth instead of paper, and so I took a bunch of thrifted clothes that I found at Goodwill, and then I cut it up, and then I just slapped it on my headpiece, and I took some photos, and that was that. And that was it for my art portfolio. Um, I hope you guys can help me roast it in the comments. It's roastable. It's so roastable. And it's kind of embarrassing how I thought I would be able to apply to these colleges and have a chance of getting in. I didn't. I didn't. I'm definitely trying to expand my portfolio as you guys have seen on my stories and stuff. You guys have seen this photo a million times, but this is one of the portfolio pieces I'm hoping to put in my design portfolio. And I'm also working on this little painting right here. And I'm excited for it. I'm trying to do a mixed medium on this one where I will sew in a blue tiger right here, biting a neck. So that's kind of fun. I'm just really trying to push myself to make a portfolio that's really strong. Much stronger than this one, hopefully. And I will update you guys on my journey for that. But for now, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please comment them down below. And if you guys like the video, please like it. And if you guys want to see more fun content from me, just subscribe. That's it. That's the video. That's the video.